The simple example is, again, hypothetical, to be clear. I said the word hypothetical. Let's say there's a robotaxi that kills half as many people. So you're from ball, and, and every car on the road is this design, just to make it simple, as a thought experiment, okay? Sure. So the U.S. goes from ballpark 40,000 deaths a year on roads to 20,000. Now, everyone would say, that sounds safer, right? Sure. Well, yeah, I could buy that premise. Yeah, okay. Every, I mean, people would be delighted. I'd be delighted if that happened. But what if this is the – first of all, that one's hypothetical. We don't know if that will happen. But the second hypothetical is what if every single one of those 20,000 deaths is pedestrian, which is way more than pedestrian deaths we have today? Oh, that's interesting, as opposed to like some of those were driver deaths or passenger deaths. Yeah, every us. single one's a pedestrian death. That's going to be a problem socially, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because the pedestrian didn't consent to be part of the, yeah. Well, A, and more of them are dying, right? Yeah, yeah, for uh, sure. And so, so if it's a small, if it's a 1% or 2%, yeah, maybe. But, it, you know, if you get some dramatic change in the distribution of who's suffering the harm. But but I use pedestrian deaths because they're not the ones actually benefiting from the self-driving. from the yeah. They're not the ones riding, getting getting the robo taxi rides cheaper, but they're paying this uh, dramatically increased cost compared to what we have today. Yeah. Okay. So so that's, and, and you know it's hard to put a number. I can't tell you what the number is. I can just tell you something that dramatic is going to be a problem. And so the argument is you can't simply ignore that redistributing risk on the vulnerable populations is a concern. You can't ignore that. And so if you want to be safer, you have to say not only is net safety better, or at least no worse, even no worse might be okay, right? Because you're getting some other utility from this. Uh, but uh, you're going to have a problem if you redistribute, redistribute risk onto vulnerable populations. You know, oh, if you yeah, really, if nice. you didn't buy me so far, what if all 20,000 are kids in crosswalks on the way to school? Oh, <laughs> I see what you're saying. You know, at some point, you have to admit yeah. that that's well, not going to be okay, I right? Mean, to be fair, you, you had me at pedestrians, but yeah, yeah I, I see. But what I, you're I'm, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> making this as pointed as I can. Yeah. And the point is not that that will happen. You know, I, kids I in wheelchairs. <laughs> well, 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 you know, yeah. go as far as you want. At some point, you yeah. have to admit it's going to be a problem if there's yeah. a very targeted demographic paying the entire price for all road deaths. It's not going to work out. Yeah. But that isn't, you know, it isn't. I'm not saying that will happen. Of course, I'm not saying that. My point is that. Another consideration is not just the total number of deaths, but there's going to be, if you have an aberrant distribution of who's paying the price, and especially if it's a vulnerable population, that's not going to be acceptable. 